Hello and welcome back to Sakya Treason. So, we have a retinue which is just reinforcing and we have somewhere where we're aiming to attack soon. So I think it's kind of an at peace t uh, time. Either that or we want to attack this guy. One or the other. Um, is he in a defensive pact against us? He is still in a defensive pact. So, maybe we need to wait for our threat level to drop a little bit. That's alright. Being at peace for a little bit is probably good, especially... Actually, he just left the defensive pact because it's a reloaded game. Interesting. I was going to say, especially as we have smallpox here currently, does that actually lower the number of men we can raise? No, it doesn't. Um, so we could potentially raise up our personal levies once this army gets around here and then just destroy them. Yeah, that's possible. They only have 5,000 men. We do have forced vassalization on them. Okay, we'd have one ally come in. That's fine. Well, we wouldn't, because they're part of a revolt. Maybe we'll wait for that revolt to win, because then we'll, our ally will be stronger. Yeah, I suppose it gives time for our retinue to reinforce. That's fine. And now they're joining the defensive packs again anyway, so that's absolutely fine. Don't need to do anything. Uh, what was that war which was just declared? Um... You declared on... Oh. With it, it's an inter-realm war. I don't really care that much about that. When do we need to live to as well? That's another question. We need to live another two years? Two years April? That's alright. We're 43. We are secluded currently, which is alright. It doesn't lower our health, I don't think. No. Not currently. So that's fine. Our concubine is pregnant. Fantastic. If we get a male heir, that's pretty much going to secure us for a while. Let's see. We need a new marshal because our marshal died. We do have a powerful vassal who'd like to be a marshal. But he already likes us 100 anyway. Yeah, so we'll ignore him and just put the person that we want in. Who I guess is going to be the most powerful per Like, as in... Not most powerful. The best, um, like, skilled person to do it. And we'll send him a gift. And then we'll demand his religious conversion, which will make him like us even more. Good, and do you want him to organize the army or train troops? Our troops are pretty much full in terms of their levy. So actually, if we get him to tr organize the army, one, he'll reduce the retinue maintenance costs, we get more money, and he'll improve our commanders. As he won't, because he's excluded. So you know what? We'll train troops. That's fine. Right. Uh, I submit to your wise counsel and convert to the Buddhist faith. Fantastic. He now really, really likes us. That's all I really wanted. Um, can we upgrade anything? We can probably upgrade Kathmandu, can't we? The trade post? Uh, no, we actually need trade practices to be a higher level there. I think we already have max level on trade practices that we can get to, so... Yeah, nothing we can do there. What we could do is we could build a hospital there. It doesn't cost very much to build the base level, so we might as well. Um, although... Yeah, there's not really much point building it there. That's the map mode I was actually looking for. Yeah, we kind of want to build hospitals everywhere if we're building them. Like, probably along our border. Just to try and... Because I think it spreads from province to province. Uh, why can we not build it here? It's under siege. Oh. Yeah, get, get out of here. Random, uh, you know, thing. Like, what is this? Just some random raiders? Yeah, get out of there. Oh, actually, I think that was the uh, other people in the war that we're in, that we're about to lose. That's fine. We'll build a hospital there. We've already built a hospital there. And we've got built a hospital there. Okay. Uh, that'll probably work. If I'm just aiming to get it along the border so it doesn't spread into our realm, that would probably work in theory. I think it works by it tries to go province to province. So it tries to go along a line. Like, I don't think it can skip over a province. I could be wrong. Let's have a look at it right now. Yeah, it doesn't look like it skipped over any provinces here. It looks like it goes province to province. Yeah. So if we can create like a line, it can't pass through our territory. In theory. Uh, let's try that. Sick houses are a little bit too expensive to go straight to, but we'll see. Uh, I crave solitude. I no longer seek the company of others, but I won't become a hermit. I do lose Gregarious, though. So that does lower our diplomacy even further. Down to 20. It was up at 29 at one point. And that's the Bengali War over. Which is good for us, in a way. Because it means that Pala is weaker. 
but it's bad for us in a way because they had like because it kind of splits up the people we need to attack like i don't know it's still fine it's bad for us because it lowers our tributary but it also means our tributary is weaker and won't try and fight out of its current situation right i think it's time to declare on this person if he's not in a defensive hack commander we need a commander let's find one uh you're not very good but okay uh, are you in a defensive pact? Yes, you rejoined it. Okay. So we leave the defensive pact in 96 months. Okay. There, there's uh, time for that to happen. Jihad for Jerusalem. Okay. So, wait. Whoa. Okay. That became Norway again, huh? What, ha what happened up here to England? Did England... Oh, is England and Norway. I see what he probably did is he probably made Norway his primary title. Anyway. So yeah, he's declared against him for this, uh... Yeah, this jihad. Uh, 6,000 against... Well, let's assume 27,000. Yeah, the Seljuks are gonna win there. Seljuks are really difficult to get rid of. I wonder how you would do that. I guess if I wanted to get rid of them, it would have to be, like, something like Soul Descent and Hope. Basically. That or try like a really bold war strategy, like trying the mountains or something like that, and basically go for a maybe I can trick the AI into let into attacking me situation. Anyway, it's all all right. We don't need to worry about that. Uh, after spending uh, lots of time with a few people, you've been positively surprised by Chun. During this difficult time, you've gotten to know and understand him well. In many ways, he compliments you nicely, and you have a good time together. In what ways? He he appears to just be an imbecile. But okay, whatever. Um, let's have a look here. Smallpox has left our capital, so we can open the gates again, which means that we will actually get five of our diplomacy back, which is quite nice. Um, okay, she's got really odd stat things. So she's got a lot of intrigue, right? But no intrigue bonuses. Haughty, willful... I don't know, let's go for our intrigue anyway. I assume it'll probably be fine. Try and capitalize on our strength. Uh, okay, what have we got here? Range of betrothal. So, you, person of this canate up there, with 2,000 troops, let's marry my daughter. My daughter who is second in line. I think that's, an, that's very much a no, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling no for that. We're about a year off from uh, being able to potentially get rid of, um, like, get rid of a gavel kind up here. Uh, what do we need to do for it? Let's double check that we're all ready. So, this one, we want to go to Primogenitor. So, we need no vassal to be fighting anybody else, and we need to uh, have every vassal liking us. But we already have all the vassals liking us. I cannot enforce realm peace. So, the council is not allowed to enforce round peace. How do I do that? Uh, is there something here? Um, uh, trying to see. Maybe one of, I was assuming maybe one of those allows round peace. No. Okay. Interesting. If we wanted an elective, we could push it all the way down, but that's probably not very useful for us right now. We're in a very good position. Um... Okay. Oh no, there we go. If we empower the council, we can allow realm peace, but we'd have to like, uh, not have the law low tribal organization. Do we have that law? Um, tribal organization? I can't even see that. Oh, m obligations? Where is tri- We don't have any tribal organization. It must be a different one. Maybe it's centralization or something unlocks it. Um, I could actually try and change that. That would work. Although we would have to have Imperial Administration. And we can't get Imperial Administration because we're not an Emperor. Okay. Actually, maybe I needed to be checking my... Uh... Oh no, I was, I was on the right one. That's fine. Uh, yeah, so we. how do we stop vassals fighting each other? I guess we just go to each vassal and say, don't fight. So, like, I go to you and say... 
No, I just have to hope, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Well, that doesn't work very well. Um, maybe it's something you can do with favors. It doesn't say what you. I wish it would tell you what you could do with favors, because I always forget. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to deal with that. Oh, good, a fourth daughter. Just what I always wanted. Hmm. So we, we definitely have vassals fighting each other. Is that only within that realm? I assume it's everywhere, actually. Yeah. Okay. Basically, you just got to hope that vassals, uh, you know, stop fighting. What about you? Can I... I could offer to... I could ask you to surrender to another group. Okay. That's how I'll do it. Okay. That works. Uh, you would like to marry my daughter. No. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do that at the time. We'll do that when we're closer. No need to make people dislike us before the time actually comes. Okay. Especially as uh, he appears to have just won anyway. That that works. Yeah. Wait, he also hates us. Why? Revoked my title. Oh god, he's got he's got it back. Can I send him a gift? Will not increase his opinion further. I could order him to surrender to Quamco. Or Quamlo. Who is Quamlo? Um, well, be whatever this war is. Okay, so... Claim on Mark Markham. So we just give him one province. I, I really would prefer you not to have a duchy. Vassals would dislike this a lot. But what's the next opinion of a vassal? We do actually have a few that are negative. Hmm. Yeah, it's not ideal. We'll need to think about that. There's not an awful lot we can do without just revoking his title. Um, wait, this says we could switch. Wait, we could switch in the Kingdom of Gouge. So no vassal fighting each other must be a... Yeah, that must be within that realm. Oh, okay. So, if I check the Kingdom of Cam, which is de jure, only that. So it's only this guy. Oh, dear. So we were in a good position. But, unfortunately, that guy's ruined it. So what's this guy's opinion of me? It's pretty high. So if I revoke his title, it's going to make everybody dislike me. It's going to make him dislike me. But I can give the duchy to someone like him, like this guy. And that would... In that, like, yeah, that would mean that he's the only vassal in that area. That could work. He could also say no. That's the only problem. He shouldn't say no because of how many men we have. Yeah, actually, if we check revoke title, it tells us what he says. Well, as he says, maybe. So he would say no, so we're going to have to go to war with him. I think it's worth it. You, I don't want you to have a duchy. Yeah. Fantastic. And this other guy, one of these other people joined, I guess, for whatever reason. That's fine. Well, no, maybe they were in a faction together. Um, well, we'll take our men. We'll move them over here. We can call in our allies to this, which we'll definitely do. Uh, yep. Yeah. Right, merge up. One said yes, the other said yes. Nice. Okay. Not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, you assert the title of whatever. It doesn't really bother me at all. Right, continue merging up. Take our 11,000 and go beat up his army. Right, we can negotiate with someone. Not going to do that. Right. I'm also only raising ours so that this takes down the uh, raised vassal penalty thing there. Uh, what have we got? Timid... And we need to choose a focus. You only have Timid, so I guess learning seems good. Given it's your only strength and your only, uh, like, personality trait. Daughter finished her education and she is a flamboyant schemer. Well, that's just awful. I really hope I get a son at this point. But we'll see. Um, right, we captured the leader. I'll pretty much do it. Yeah. So, I'd like your title. Yep. So he no longer has it. You. I'm going to grant you the Duchy of Dej. 
and hopefully you'll be able to hold it, okay? Yup. Fine, we can disband. Head down this way. Is he actually good at anything? Wait. No, it's this, this guy. Are you actually good at anything? You are... Um... Not really, no. But you're also going to die of dysentery, so that's absolutely fine. And then your son will take over, who's a really good diplomat. Works for me. Right. When can I change this? I can change it right now, because everyone within the realm there likes me. So, primogenitor. There we go. That now works. So now, everything has the same succession law. I just noticed that... Oh, I thought that one of them said didn't say royal laws, and I was very confused, but that's fine. Um, right. That worked out very well. What have we got here? Threat level, fairly high. Yeah. Well, it's not high, it's just high enough to actually have defense attacks. Okay. Commander, let's put in one of those. Let's put in, uh, this guy, I guess. That'll work. News from China. The period of unrest in China has come to an end. Oh, I forgot it was still going. And the surviving militant uh, peasants have returned to till their fields. Things are returning to normal, and the Middle Kingdom seems stable. Interesting. What's good about that is we get more money. We get a lot more money. So yeah, that's now worth 74. If we wait a second or two, we'll see how much we have. Uh, we need a new spy master. Um, we do have a powerful vassal who doesn't have a title, but he's not really good. Oh, did that guy die already? He did. Nice. Um, you're not really good at anything else. That's the problem. Do we have an advisor slot? Uh, we do not have an advisor slot, as far as I can see. Well, I would like to replace you with someone who's, like, objectively better. Which is alright. Again, get him to fabricate claims at 20% chance per, uh year on that land because that's going to be a holy site then our spy master I guess it's going to be this guy for just now and he's going to scheme how are people feeling about me it like vassal wise this guy doesn't like me because I have him imprisoned I do have him imprisoned well let's sort out our prisoners then we can get 70 gold or 6 opinion. So whichever one gives the most opinion. So we get 9 opinion for releasing this guy. So we might as well release that guy. Yeah. You, I can just release as well. Actually, I get 9 opinion there. Okay. Uh, and then I might as well take the 70 gold for each of you. Well, 25 gold for one of them. Yeah, I think I uh, could have released one less there. I mean, fine. But that's, that's alright. Yeah. We got a little bit of money. Generally, okay. How's the uh, epidemic looking? It's gone. Good. We should probably build up the hospitals just for next time so we have some disease resistance. But actually, just having our capital having it is probably going to help a lot. Yeah. Uh, is our trade post as big as it can get? It is, yeah. Okay. What about our capital itself? We can get more stables. Might as well. We get a bonus for it being the capital, so might as well take full advantage of it. Also, because we've been ruling a while, we do have... Oh, wait. We can't do these? Oh, people have negative opinions of us. That's fine. Um, I was going to say we could change one of these if we wanted to. There's no point, because I don't want to change it when it only changes one of the three. Um, I don't want to change realm inheritance. I'm just checking laws while we have a chance. That's the only law I can change. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine then. Uh, can I... Alright, do you still in this thing? I can't do a vassalization one? Oh, I can. I can. Okay. Yeah, it's still the same one we join. We could probably win anyway. It just, I don't want to have to fight wars on opposite sides of my country. So, that's fine. Um, a small kitty is demanding your attention. Uh, I will allow the kitten to follow me home. Gives us intrigue and health. Seems really good. The health especially. I like uh, still being alive. Are my concubines of an age where I want to get rid of them? Two of them are. Uh, I'll find, I'll set two concubines aside. And then we'll go and get some new ones. Who do you want to marry? 
You would like these two people to marry. Sure, whatever. Right. Um, find characters who are within my realm who are women, who are not in prison, not married, not a ruler. Uh, well, they're within my realm, so we're in Diplo range. Don't care about joining court. Don't really care about religion and culture at this point. Have to be an adult. Um, then let's sort by that. Head down here. And we're just looking for people. Like, this one's pretty good because it's attractive and quick. We will uh, take her as a concubine. You uh, are also attractive. We'll take you as a concubine. Actually, no, you have a negative fertility uh, thing there. We'll avoid that, actually. Anybody have positives? You have a positive one, but you also have slow. I want to avoid that. Underhand rogue is positive, but you have chase. Um... Lover's Pock seems bad. Well, I guess we will choose this person then. All right, there we are. We're still looking for that son. Uh, yeah, you accepted it, of course you did. And then you accepted it. Yeah, you didn't really have a choice in the matter. Right. Um, I think diplomacy seems good for this child. That seems really good. Do we have a uh, court tutor? I just want to double check that. Um... I actually can't tell. Yeah, there we go. That one. That's fine. Uh, you yeah, we're good. So, the peasants of uh, Bumthang are uh, having frequent troubles with highwaymen and wild beasts. Well, we'll uh, pay some money and then they will stop having problems with wild beasts. Okay. People are forming alliances. Still doesn't really bother me. What is our, th our threat level still not going down that quickly? My concubine has just informed me that Goss Gunsong of Ganji has uh, tried to recruit her into a scheme to seduce my other concubine. Oh, okay. Don't do that. Or if you're going to do it, have it so that we can have a child who is a son and we can just say he's ours. That, that seems like that would work. Uh, oh, matrilineal marriage between my daughter and this person. Sure. I guess I already looked at this previously. If we get married, we can collect a royal aid duty to pay for the ceremony. Uh, I'll take the prestige instead. Uh, so, our son-in-law... I see... Yeah, our son-in-law. I was correct the first time. His stats are alright. Yeah. Oh, she has lover's pox. There's quite a lot of people who have lover's pox. I'm starting to think it might not be a coincidence. Okay. Let's take her second daughter. Let's find someone for her to marry matrilineally because we uh, there's actually a chance she might take control um, hmm how about this person they seem reasonable doesn't seem to be anything crazy yeah that's kind of what I'm looking for uh, yes we lose a little bit of prestige but overall it's okay and we'll get the prestige back when they marry so that works for me Oh, we got special money. That's good. Um, okay. Uh, we request you on your obligation. Call to arms against Maharaja um, Kellyanna Chandari. Chand Chandra? Ch Kellyanna Chandra. That, that, that's a good name. Um, right. So we'll be part of their war for... The Kana. Okay, well, are you attacking? You are attacking. You're attacking the Pala Kingdom again. And you're attacking for. Uh, the Kana of Guda. Where is Guda? I'm trying to find it before we actually d d decide. No, we should just accept. It's fine. We can always do nothing. Um, that's fine. Um, he's doing impress all claims. Okay, so actually he'll have the claims then. Ah, it's down there. I see. Well, that's okay. Uh, yes, yeah, a lot down there actually. How many claims do you have? He's been fabricating well. Okay. Uh oh, range betrothal between my daughter and this person. No, definitely not. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.